hey everyone welcome back on the channel and welcome back to another cyberpunk fsa 3 video more like updated cyberpunk fsa 3 video so i've been testing various mods for cyberpunk and i've come across and made three zips so one is for cyberpunk fsa 3 for rtx one is for cyberpunk fsa 3 for gtx and amd version 1 and version 2 so this zip will only be for the rtx users like if you are an rtx 2 3 2000 or 3000 series users you can use this mod it's super stable it will work with uh, all kind of upscaler like dlss fsr and xcss but if you are a non rtx slash gtx or amd card user uh, you can use uh, these two zips so v1 worked fine for me but for some reason uh, while testing I have faced some errors with V1 uh, so I made V2 also so do try both this see which one fits your spec first and this one uh, is only working fine with uh, like uh, DLSS only the other two upscaler like uh, XCSS and FSR is uh, not working uh, like they are working but uh, you can't get the frame generation boost so only dlss is uh, working with uh, these two zip like for gtx and rtx so yeah this is going to be a little bit longer than expected because i will try um, these two zips no need to try the third zip because this is just an like uh, substitute of the zip one so i'll test both two zips and show you guys like how much the fps is boosting and all so yeah stick around for that and this wallpaper is from the cyberpunk edge runner anyway uh, for the guys who are wondering so yeah let's begin uh, so first i'll try the rtx mod and after that the gtx mod so after pasting the files we'll need to copy everything and go to our cyberpunk installation directory and after that bean x64 and where the cyberpunk.txt is located we're gonna paste everything here after pasting just uh, we'll run the game and speed up the video a little so okay i'm back in the game and right now the dlss frame generation is currently off uh, i just want to tell you guys that uh, msi afterburner will cause you to crash the game so do not use msi afterburner while using uh, any of these mods like uh, the rtx1 the gtx1 v1 v2 do not use the msi afterburner so yeah let's just uh, show you the basic fps without the frame generation activation and with the activation so right now the frame generation is disabled and i'm getting around like uh, 70 to 80 fps now i'll activate the frame generation going to graphics uh, you can use the dlss if you are an rtx user so no need to tweak anything just uh, activate the dlss and you can see the frame generation toggle is available I'll click on apply and come back to the game and you will see now it's around 110 to 120 from 70 to 110 20 i know it's not like doubling or anything but cyberpunk is a bit heavy game and you have to remember that i keep in mind that uh, this is a bit heavy game so there is a little bug with every uh, one of these mods which is a car shadow like flickering right uh, in this area so when i drive at fast speed notice at the bottom of the car uh, there a uh, little bit flickering i don't know the game capture is I can show you that but when you're driving at high speed you will notice that a little bit uh, it's not anything major but uh, i thought i'll mention it uh, as i am uh, totally being honest with you guys like which things are working and which things are not so mm, yeah as you can see it's like boosting around 110 yeah 100 to 110 uh, it will get a little bit better if i stop like recording uh, when i was not recording it was around like 120 to 100 and 30 but uh, now i'm recording at 4k so that's why it's a little bit lower than expected then okay so this is the uh, rtx mod uh, now uh, i'll quit the game and sh damn shit i will now begin uh, the mod for the gtx slash uh, amd card users so yeah let's begin that So first of all, uh, we will need to remove the previous mod. Uh, 
x64 and we will match uh, remove the files with matching with the zip like uh, i'll open the zip uh, previously which i pasted earlier uh, and i'll match the files and delete those disable this one dlss to fsr3 this one and vgx.dll and vgx.dll this one and restore nvidia signature check this one okay now we have the previous mod we are going to paste the mod for uh, gtx and amd series so we are going to paste uh, extract the v1 zip uh, so if you face any issue with v1 you can flash v2 uh, so after that uh, we will open the folder copy everything and then we will paste it here now for uh, gtx user there is no need to edit or uh, do anything uh, tweak uh, like the previous uh, fsr 3 mods but uh, i am not sure about amd cards like if amd card user don't get the dlss uh, you can do one thing that is like uh, when you run the game the cmd box will appear close that cmd box and change the fsr 2 to fsr 3 config i will show you in a second so double click on it close the cmd box and your config will appear so we will need to edit uh, this one uh, for uh, nvidia gtx user there is no need to edit this tweak like i have tested and uh, one of my team, uh, friend tested it and he told me that there is no tweak needed for nvidia gtx user he is using an uh, gtx 1070 so but i can't test it on amd cards so if you face like this issue and uh, cannot like enable the dlss after pasting the mod do this like uh, change the fake nvidia gpu to true and click on a file and click on save and after that you can run the game um, so yeah uh, after pasting uh, the gtx v1 zip i'll speed up the video now okay i'm back at the same spot again and you can already see that the frame rate is like uh, uh, showing 110 but it's not actually 110 or 20 uh, it's around uh, the 70 and 80 fps i can tell that by the input latency uh, so yeah this is the like i don't know what you call like the fake fps uh, if when you don't turn on the frame generation so we will need to turn the frame generation on uh, in terms to get like get the real uh, frame rate boost now it's like uh, very smooth uh, I can tell that by the frame pressing timing like the frame time graph uh, so yeah this is only working with the TLSS for this mod like the GTX MD mod uh, is gonna work only when the DLSS is selected like if you select the FSR uh, you will still get the DLSS frame generation option is ticked but if you come back to the game uh, you will notice a little uh, frame time uh, like lag and uh, it will show you like uh, the fps is higher everything like there uh, you can see the fps is still like 120 but uh, it is not a real 120 so only if you select the dlss uh, only then you will able to use the real frame regeneration uh, with this uh, gtx v1 zip v1 and v2 both uh, also this uh, mod also have that the uh, same car flicker issue which i will show you wait a second this is not my car okay uh, yeah anyway let's drive damn that girl has got gun yeah so yeah there uh, you can see a very little flickering issue but it's uh, still there like when i drive at high speed i don't know if the game capture can show it but yeah uh, it's anyway it's working like uh, fully uh, no crash or anything i've been tested uh, like uh, 30 20 to 30 minutes i've played this game with both zips for rtx and gtx uh, series user and both of these zips are working like very good only in this this single issue the car shadow issue rest is fine uh, so yeah do not use the fsr or xcss with this gtx zip uh, but you can use the uh, xcss or fsr with the rtx zip for rtx users so yeah this will be it guys uh, like i have uh, worked like two to four or three to four hours for this both of the zips to work like test throughoutly how it worked which errors are you getting and everything so a uh, subscribe to the channel would be really like uh, helpful 
and will motivate me to make more new videos like this and if you face any kind of issue um, do comment below or join my discord and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one cheers